Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1340. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1340, and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we have to see how to create an expandable range in an Excel table. Now, I've actually done videos on this before, and there's a relatively well-known method to solve this problem. But in this video, we want to see two methods, a brand new method thanks to one of our online Excel teammates at YouTube. Now, here's the problem. We have a list of names. And as we add new names to the bottom, I need a running count. One, two. For Fran, it would be one, two, three. Well, there's a well-known formula we've been using for years in normal Excel spreadsheets when we don't have a table using the count ifs, because we are counting with conditions or criteria. And in the criteria range, we put an expandable range. Notice if I'm counting Sue here, I'd get 1. But if the range here expanded as I copy down, when I got to here, it would see 2. So let's do that. That cell is A6. So I type A dollar sign 6. That dollar sign on the 6 is to lock the row colon A6. That means that as we copy this down, it'll always remain on 6. But that 6 does not have a dollar sign, so it will move to 7, 8, 9 as we copy down, comma, and then A6. That's our criteria relative cell reference as we copy down. So close parentheses, Control Enter. The table automatically populates down. And look at this. As we look at it in our initial table before we add records, it's working perfectly. Look at that, all the way to boom, A6 to A11. You can not only see the expandable range start reference 6 was locked, but this 11 was changing as we copied down. But now let's see this well-known error in an Excel table. If I add Fran and hit Tab, well, it looks like it worked right here. But wait a second. It immediately changed the count up here. It should be 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, look at what happened. Still working, not working. Remember, that was the last cell in our table. But for some reason, internally, the Excel table changed it to A12, meaning it's always going to go down to the bottom of the table from now on. So our normal method for expandable range does not work. Well, there's a couple ways we can deal with this. The first way is to use our count ifs. And since in an expandable range, we always need to get the first cell in the range, we're going to use the index function to look up the first cell in the range. The array. This is a table, and this column is named name. So we instantly see in our square brackets the field name. That is table formula, nomenclature, or structured references. That is dynamic. As we copy this down, it will always look at the whole column. Now, index is a lookup function. So when I type a comma, what's the row number or relative position I want? I always want 1. Now, if I close this off and were to evaluate this, index normally returns the actual content. And if I hit the F9 key to evaluate this, and you know what? My F9 key is not working, so I'm going to go up to Formulas. And over here in Calculation, I'm going to say Calculate Now. Sure enough, index returns the content, Control-Z to undo that. But now, if I put the index function in the context of a cell range, it'll know what to do, return the cell reference. So if I do a colon and then use table formula nomenclature for relative cell reference in the table, the at symbol means always get the item in this row, or in this case, it'll get the cell reference. Now, we'll copy this down and see that this works. It's, in essence, first cell in the name column. And when we get to the bottom, this will be the last, separated by a colon, comma. And then our criteria, we always need table formula nomenclature for relative cell reference, the item in this row. Close parentheses. 
one. enter, and sure enough, look at that. It's working. Now, if I go down here, notice that it looks like it's not working because the blue one's all the way down, but that's actually internally an index. Let's go ahead and click on Criteria Range. Well, I can't hit the F9 key because of my recorder, so I'm going to come up to Calculations, Calculate Now. Whoa, look at that. It got all of them. Control-Z, Escape, go down to the last one, F2. Click inside, click on Criteria Range 1, Calculate Now. That is an expandable range that can work in an Excel table, Escape. Now, that's method one. We've done that one before. Here's the new one, equals count ifs. And I'm simply going to type the first locked reference, a dollar sign 6, and then a colon and use table formula nomenclature for relative cell reference. Then I comma. There's our criteria, close parentheses, One. enter, and check that out. It's working. If I look at any moment, it looks like it's working. If I come to criteria range 1, click to highlight, calculate now, no way. That is a second method of getting an expandable range in an Excel table. Now let's test all of these formulas. I'm going to click in the last cell below the first column, type GG tab. Looks like it's sort of working here. All of these are working. Come down here, GG tab, and boom. Total error with this one. But these two methods for expandable ranges in Excel tables are working. I love hanging out on our online Excel team. We'll see you next video.